It's like in rugby league life where you put on easy difficulty and just score <laughs> like 50 million tries because it's it's fun. But that game is just ridiculous sometimes. Greatest game Lawful. ever. It's stupid. <laughs> you so love, bad. You love it, eh? Just love the animation's combined. terrible. The physics are terrible. Mm, the physics. Oh. There's just like little bugs. Mm, in it know. as well like Everyone glitches. was expecting it to be like the best game ever And it was it is. worse than the worst Like, the, I <laughs> think Life 2 is the best one Yeah, probably mm. Yeah, Or the one on the Wii, Rugby League 3 I feel like That's 4 probably has the best graphics In terms of like players looking like themselves Oh yeah, so. but like but gameplay wise game play Terrible sucks. Oh, We need a number 5 so badly yeah. Like it's changed so much since then So badly Like even just rule changes and I stuff know. Like I was the I was playing it yesterday, and I was like doing the Bulldogs lineup up. No, I was doing sorry, I was doing the Origin lineup. I was like fixing it because obviously like Cleary's out injured and that, and so I was like putting Moses in, and then I like went to put Bird in 18th man, and there's just no 18th man. No, yeah. And I'm like, bro, what if two of my players get concussed? I want to activate Matt Bird. <laughs> exactly. Like. <laughs> and like it doesn't have obviously captains challenges, yeah, know, set that restarts, be cool, though, just all challenge. those little things. Yeah, but they got to do like they did the new AFL game, like where they show the coaches as yeah. well, like in the change rooms. Yeah, make it like a broadcast. Yeah, yeah, like mm. the coaches like in that game hyping their sides up in the change rooms. Yeah. And, you know, like sometimes they're spraying them if they're down by like yeah. a huge margin. Like it's so cool mm. how much detail. That's like in Madden that and that are all like as well. It's yeah, really I know. Good. Like they did they so much detail conferences. in that game. It was so good. Yeah. Oh, and obviously, like that game. And sometimes they do up. like the umpires going and like you know discussing <clears throat> with each other. Then you know, it'd be cool if they had like you could do the bunker, yeah, but like breaking down the play, it'd be possible. What with the voices? Yeah, because like they have the commentary activate like when yeah, certain that things would be happen. Cool, so you could have the bunker activate when certain things happen. So it'd be sort of like the commentary, but like a rush in the bunker. It'd be so much work though to get that. Like, you could do it. If there'd be if, so much bugs with it. If they're doing the commentary, they can do a bunker. Do you reckon like, Gus would come back and commentate? He didn't nah, for the last game. He wouldn't. I don't reckon. <laughs> I'm surprised he did it for the first two. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's Yeah, same. He must have got a paycheck. Yeah. And then he, they must have I was in the video ad like. where he's like promoting the game and he's like actually playing. No. Oh, it's like, an, it was, I think it was Rugby League 3. Yeah. And he was like actually oh, playing YouTube it next it to Vossi. Like and YouTube. he was like acting real competitive. Yeah. yeah. It's so funny. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, we should get into this now. Yeah. And then they just replace him with Eddie Helms. Yeah, I know. Hemmings. Yeah. Hemmings. Well, I I've heard the name too much. Eddie Hemmings. Well, I think they just did it to like make like English people buy the game. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, but have you noticed? Have you played enough that Gus is in it? Is he? There's, nah. So you know how you I don't normally play with sound on. You know how the sort of like the commentary works. It's sort of like like at the start of the game, Fossey will like sort of give an intro, and then he'll cut to Eddie, and he'll give an intro. There's like one or two glitches in it where Gus talks, <laughs> like it cuts to he's like Eddie Hemmings, and then Gus starts speaking. Because they must have just something in the like system. They've just copy and pasted it all from like number three, right? And forgot to erase like one or two of Gus's lines. Yeah, right. And so like if you play it enough, you'll end up hearing. Yeah, Gus I don't normally play with sound on, so yeah, yeah. Well, you got to play with sound on just until you hear. I think there's one in like normal games, and then there's one in Origin. Very talks. Yeah, and it's not on purpose. It's just by accident because the yeah. game's that bad. All right, let's rip in. All right, welcome back to Orange Peelers. Zane, I'm depressed today. Yeah, not a good day for you. Not a good day for me Avril at all. Are gone. We'll, we'll circle back to Avril later, but I just want to preface if I randomly burst out crying during this episode, it's because I'm thinking about Avril. <laughs> um, but let's start at the start. Obviously, there was only five games on the weekend. Yeah, short weekend. Actually, I, I did this last time. Let's preface again. Origin is tonight. It We're is, recording yeah. on a Wednesday. Origin hasn't been played yet, so anything we talk about in this podcast is like... Yeah. Not We're not going to come out and say, oh, how how good was that win for the Blues last yeah. night? Like, you know, and like it if, hasn't play, been played yet. If Mitch Moses breaks his ankle tonight yeah. and then we're like picking Mitch Moses any time trust yeah, this week, exactly. like, just don't hold it against us. But before we talk into the future, let's look back at the round that was. It started with Cowboys and Panthers. S- such a good game. One of the game of the seasons. Game of the season. One of the yeah. games of the season. I won't argue like, with you. Too like, you know, no origin stars in this game, and it was still an absolute blockbuster. Such a good game. I couldn't look away. That's got to be. That last 10 minutes was so good. The last 10 minutes was just incredible. I think from memory, I was on Fortnite with my mates doing a bit of Fortnite Friday, and I like stopped playing and just watched this game. Because normally, like, I'm always usually just sort of watching it anyway, but like, I just put my controller down. Yeah. I just watched the last 10 minutes. I couldn't look away. Yeah. It was and then so through good. Golden Point as well. Um, it was. I think it's probably 
I don't know. I don't know how you're going to feel about this statement. Is it the best, like, origin period game ever? Probably. Like, origin effect. It'd be up game? there, yeah. Like, it was just incredible. Obviously, you got both teams, like, were all right. Like, it wasn't no, like they it was play, a bad both game. Yeah. Cowboys. You know, like, they just clutched up. Did they? Yeah. Scotty Drinkwater. Are they on the rise up? Are they back? See, that's the thing with this one. I don't know if you can go off this game and go, oh, the Cowboys mm. are back. Like, do you reckon if Penrith had their full squad, Cowboys would have won? No, no, I don't think they would. But then you've got to keep in mind as well, Cowboys were missing a few players as exactly. well. Not as many, but a few. And so that's what makes it interesting. Yeah. And it was in North Queensland where Cowboys play well. Yeah, it was a very good game. How weird was it the last play Drinkies try? Yeah. Where well, it was like first tackle. I know. And they weren't even trying to score a try. I they think it was fourth for- tackle. I thought they got a set restart. Oh, they might I have, might be wrong. I could be wrong. Yeah, but, but then they like went for the field goal. I think it hit Townsend. It's smart what he did, though. Deedon, and then to Drinky. It's smart what he did, though. Yeah. Because the Panthers players were ready for that field goal. Mm. And they all And he just found position. space. Yeah. He just found space and just kept finding space. The further he ran, the more space he found. I want to give a shout out to Jack Cogger. Oh, he's been really good with it. Like, obviously, mm, replacing Cleary. But his, Looks field, like Cleary as his well. field goal attempts, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad Got for him. He missed like four, I think. Yeah, did he? He missed a he missed a fair few. Obviously, and, he kicked one. And it's also the Kyle felt um, penalty goal, which would have been so good if he kicked that. Oh yeah, from fifty when he attempted it from fifty mm. out rugby league lifestyle. Yeah, that that would have been crazy if he kicked that. Yeah, and the, he's done it before as well. He's kicked no, it know, from there yeah, before. Yeah, that's why that, the commentators were saying that's why they're going to try this. And although I, I know I just bagged Cogger for missing field goals, the field goal he hit. That was clutch. Oh, yeah. Because was like two seconds left. And like obviously they were Panthers down by just one. They just no golden point, don't they? They just know how to win golden points. Panthers. Yeah. Yeah, obviously like they didn't win this but, one. But like, we saw that game against yeah. the Knights, you know, and the Eels won. But most golden points, they yeah. get it right. I think that they, they're they really comfortable in the tight games and they, they almost prefer a tight game. Yeah. Like you see a lot of the time if they fall behind by a couple of tries, they yeah. start to struggle. Yeah. Where if it's like really tight, that's where they love it. Yeah. They love being in tight games. Uh, this year, not, oh, I'm kind of taking back what I said, but like we look at the Knights game, they got through that. Yeah. The Eagles game, they lost. The South game, which is won that Penrith. They yeah, normally fair. Lose no, from that's, yeah, this year, that's The Broncos true. won as well. You yeah. know, that one in round one I'm talking about. Yeah, that's true. They actually have lost a fair few tight games. That's a fair yeah, shout. But I think teams are working yeah. out how to beat them in tight games as well yeah. at the same time. But like, I, yeah. this is what they do. You're right. They have lost a few, but I still feel like they're not, yeah. they're not uncomfortable. In know, it, but, you're, yeah. but you're 100% correct. They have actually lost a yeah, it's few just team, games. I think, think teams are it. starting to pick on to how they win these tight games yeah. and shutting them down. <clears throat> yeah. Um, they just get things right in golden point. Like when they're a point down, they always just strike back like they yeah. did against the Knights, like they did against the Cowboys. Not against all the time South, they win though. Like the game was basically over against South. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then it, was South, it was just it was like a miracle. Like four to go. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't know what happened. Just like bang, bang. <laughs> See, just pulled off a miracle. But yeah, no, nah, this was a really, really good game. It was a great way to start the round. And as you said, like maybe Cowboys are on the rise. Mm. Maybe like it's just hard to yeah, judge very, because of the... Yeah, I want to see how they go in their next match. And like this week, it's against South in Sydney. Mm. And the thing I worry about the Cowboys is they suck They can't in Sydney. play in Sydney. I oh, know. It's been a big issue this year. Oh, and then they go to Townsville well. and they kill... Last yeah, year and was last. a big issue. So... So, yeah, it'll be good to see how they go this weekend, not only in Sydney, but against a premiership heavyweight as well. Mm. I wonder, what day do they play? They Sunday afternoon oh, at so 4 it o'clock. Should, the Origin players should back up. Oh, yeah, they're supposed yeah. to. The trail's not in, though. Yeah. Is Walker? Walker's playing. All right, cool. Murray we'll, and Cook we'll, are we'll named. come back to that. They're named. All mm. right. Um, Knights, Roos is another close game. Yeah. But I felt this was a bit mad. Like I went Knights in this game. I, I think a lot of people went Knights I as went, well. Yep, we I went just thought at home, you know, nice afternoon, big crowd. They'd get the job done against Rooster side that's struggling, which... We, who had no Rooster Tedesco, still, no yeah, Collins. That was the other reason. And Roosters still don't look good. And yeah, they and still like, weren't that good in this game. They won the game, but I agree. I thought they, Butcher had a really good game though. Yeah. And Manu played okay. Manu was too, good at fullback. The Knights just can't catch a ball. And that's what costed them this game. They just cannot mm. catch a ball. And they make stupid just attacking plays sometimes. And they, like, like, they, they dropped Greg Marju mm. for like disciplinary reasons, which, and I, was he a late? No, he was not named on Team List Tuesday. Hey, no, that wasn't a late change, but apparently there was a bit of uh, not backlash, but some players weren't happy with him getting dropped because apparently, like, there's double standards for other players, right? Like, a, for example, like, apparently Ponga's missed the bus before mm. and hasn't obviously hasn't been punished. 
So I wonder if like that sort of thing, if there was a bit of drama behind the walls, maybe that affected this performance a little bit. I don't know. It could have, but like, you know, they're trying to, they get themselves in the good positions, but then they just blow it. And mm. I thought Gagai had played really well. Ponga as well. Like I thought they were Knights' two best players. As yeah, I've got down. I thought Ponga was really, yeah, really good again. He's been killing it at fullback. Yeah, and yeah, Gagai. Like, yeah, he made a few passing mistakes as well, Gagai. Like when mm. he could have gone inside, he went outside, but attacking wise he was just a gun. Yeah, you know, he was breaking the line. He was breaking tackles, doing everything. And credit to the Knights, they do it every week. They're just hanging games. Mm. And even when they lose them, they just hang in games, hanging games. Like it was, I think Roosters held onto the two point lead for like the last 10, yeah, 15 minutes. They did. And because, and obviously, like as I said, like the Knights don't always win the games they hang in, but they're just, this year, they've just been a team that's just hanging in every single yeah, game. Yeah, I know. Really. It's just been crazy. Did you see, touching back on like Manu at fullback? Buzz came out and was like, Manu has to stay at fullback. They should move to that kind of 5-8. I did see that. What did you make footy, of that? Uh, just footy is stupid. <laughs> I, I saw one of the journalists um, predicted origin sides, like what they should, oh, what no. they would have done. They had Latrell at fullback, Tedesco centre. Wait, centre? Yes. What? They swapped Latrell and Tedesco. Why? I do not know why. Do you remember who it was? I don't remember, but it's one of like the NRL 360 blokes. <sighs> Hoops or someone. Yeah, uh, I don't think it was hoops. I think I don't remember which I'll tell one. I'll tell you which one it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't Paul Kent. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, I wonder anyway, what, wonder what Kent would have gone with. Uh, yeah, uh, you know what? I haven't heard much of him. No, like he's... in regards to Origin, eh? Hmm. He hasn't really said much. I know. I don't know. Usually, what's look. Happened. Yeah. Oh well. For, I'm sure he's all good. Yeah. yeah so Showing yeah, a bit you, of class, I think. Yeah. You wouldn't play Tedesco at 5'8"? No. What, what would you do? I'm, like, I, I agree. I wouldn't play Tedesco at 5'8". But what would you do with Manu? Centre. Play him at centre? Keep him at centre. And then you go That's Kiri. That's played his best footy at Who would centre. you have in the halves with Kiri? I would have Walker. Walker? But, you know, there's a bit of rumours speculating now that Ben Hunt may end up at the Roosters. I'm liking Sandin. Like, come on. I'm liking Sandin Smith. You're liking him? He played good on the weekend. Yeah, but, you know. Obviously, he's very I fresh. He's, but I know he's fresh. That's why I'm not on him yet. But, you know, as of, like, if I was the Roosters coach, the side, like, that I would have started the year with would be Kerry Walker, Tesco at the back, mm. and Manu at centre. And that yeah. is what they started yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what they've done. They've decided to switch it well, around. Obviously, like bit. Manu's been in the halves a lot, but I feel like because it wasn't really working with Walker, and it does make sense to bring him back in. But I feel like Sandon Smith almost deserves a chance. Mm. Like I think at at the moment and it's his jersey think, to lose. I think if this hap- that happens, Walker's going to go. Oh, hundred percent. Mm. Yeah, hundred percent. And there, I think there's a chance if Walker leaves anyway because he can't be happy. Yeah. But yeah, I and like they've named Sandon Smith this weekend, and I feel like Walker's of is he available yet? Um, possibly. Be, let's have a, it's because he was out injured, right? Yeah, he has been injured. Let but I think he should be recovered by now. But yeah, I found it interesting that they have put Manu back to center, even though like he spent so long at five eight. Obviously, it wasn't working. But then, yeah, I just found it interesting they went with Sandon Smith over Manu in the halves, and I'm like, maybe there's a bit more to that. Let's have a look. Who am I looking for? Sam Walker. Oh, no, Kiri's named to play, hey? Yeah. So Because Kiri's on the injury board, but he's named to play. And yeah. Sam Walker says was... TBC. Okay. So, I don't so know. they don't know when he will be back. Yeah. But yeah, we yeah. thought that Kiri was going to be out for ages, hey? Apparently mm. it was a broken jaw and then it just wasn't. Yeah, I know. That's so that strange. was random. That's strange, isn't it? People were yeah. like talking season. I know. Ending. And then it was like, oh, no, he's playing this way. Yeah, it's a bit, that was odd. It I was. How that doctor stuffed that up so badly. Yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe they were just trying to think worst case scenario. Yeah. And like the club came out and was like, well, if we just say what the worst case is and then it's better, like, It'll who's posi- going to care? Positive vibe. Yeah. Um, what about Eels Manly, the other, it wasn't the only other game that day, but the second Saturday game, the Jacob Arthur Bowl, mm. Eels absolutely pumped up. Yeah, Manly was crap. Mm. That's all I can say, crap. They, their forwards were just dreadful. Mm. And I think that the biggest concern with Manly was their forwards because obviously they're missing Turbo and It was my concern for them pre-season. But they're not well. missing forwards. There's, there was no real reason yeah, for the forwards to not play. Yeah, but that was my problem in pre-season. That's the weakest yeah. part of it. The, and they have one of the weakest forward packs in the game, I and think. And keep in mind that they were up against an Eels forward pack who were like missing some of their star forwards. Mm, I don't know. Because like, of origin, one of them was at 5'8". <laughs> like, I think they need to go to the market and start looking at some forwards. Well, they, they signed can... Aaron Woods. <laughs> yeah. I mean, something good for us. Yeah, like, like, I want to look at who's on the market. I don't know if I'll be able to 
find it now. Yeah. I'd have to do a bit of research, but they need. Yeah, you reckon they need to go to market and buy some Fords? Mm. Obviously, Jerbo's out at the moment, but that's pretty much it. Let's have no, They got Alloy, but he's had a bit of a rubbish year. He, was, I'm pretty sure he got dropped at once. Oh. It's literally, it's literally oh. Torlangi and Turbo. Kepi can play all right at times too, but you know he's just more of a depth player. Sure, I'll tell you. Who, which Ford I am liking though, Bullimore. Oh, yeah, Bullimore. He's been good. I liked him when he was at like the Broncos. Yeah. I thought he was a gun up there. Yeah, fair. But he, they're playing him on the bench, aren't they? I think he's off the bench, yeah. yeah. But he's killing it off the bench. He's mm. playing really good. Um, The Eels, obviously, they played without Moses and Brown in the halves. I think it was Maddo. Maddo. That was 5'8. And Arcee. And Arcee. And they still they, they got the job done. It. Yeah. Eels are on the rise. We can't deny yeah. it. Oh, 100%. You cannot deny are it. Are they a premiership threat? I don't want to go that far yet, but mm. I'm starting to think maybe. Yeah. Like I think you still have to finish top four to win the comp. Yeah. That's the thing. So well, I don't I, really want to say premiership. Threat. I don't think they're a premiership threat. I'm basically where I am at the start of the season. I think I predicted them to finish seventh or something, yeah, like bottom what, of the I eight. Said, I said ninth preseason, but yeah. then I changed to seventh in the last one yeah. that we did. I so. think I like said seventh and stayed seventh or like sixth or seventh, but yeah, like bottom of I the eight. I think they can push the fifth. At the most. I, I can't see them getting into the top four, though. Yeah, and I don't think they're I. a premiership threat. I was like, at the start of the season, yeah. I was like, they'll play finals. I think they can be. When they're at their mm, best, they definitely They are. probably can be. Yeah. Yeah. No, they, well, they, they, yeah, they can I just be. don't think they have three big games in a row in them, like at, when yeah. it comes to the end of the year. Which was our concern with yeah. them last, or at least like that was one of my concerns with them last year. Mm. But they proved that they, like, they did it. So, mm. but obviously there are changes. They lost Marnie. They lost... Papali, but I feel like Brendan Hands, he's they've finally started to start him, yeah. which they needed to do a long time ago because he's really good. And Hodgson was sort of stunting their attack a little bit, and then they've just like they've still got really good, a really good forward pack. Mm, they're one of the best in the game, so they don't actually miss Papali too much. Yeah, well, so maybe they can go with Marnie around. at the moment. What, what was I that? think they've learnt to play without Reed Marnie there. Yeah, well, yeah, they're they starting to. Yeah, and like Gaffo is getting involved a lot. Moses is. Well, I think the it. fact I think Mar- Marnie are leaving. I went to say Marnie then. That's like you know. Do you remember when Marnie was like, "I bleed blue and gold." Yeah, that's like me calling my captain Marnie. Yeah, same same vibe. But yeah, I feel like him there maybe didn't get Moses and Gaffo as involved as they are this year. They're yeah. sort of forced to be more involved without Marnie there, and it's almost benefiting them. I know. No. Obviously, like Moses wasn't in this game. I thought Gaffo in this game. Oh, Gutho, I hate Gutho, but he was really it, yeah. good. Hopgood was really good he, as well. Yeah, Hopgood, oh, he's so good, man. I can't believe I traded him out. I can't, I can't believe everyone traded him he out. I kept to, him this whole time. He got time. moved to the bench. I'm like, I'm trading him out. I, I stuck with him. I was like, surely he'll go I back hate looking at his side. scores. I try not to. He got like 70 or 80 yeah. on the weekend. He I try not to look at his scores. It. I love it. I never let him go and I'm reaping the rewards because he's like still going up in price every week. It's insane. Shout out to Hopgood. Hop go. Did you see uh, Guru like yeah. met him? Yeah. How wholesome was that? Guru loves him, favorite player. Yeah. 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 Super coach wise. Yeah. Has been wa- watching him come through the grades. Could be anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, do, do you have any other comments on that game? Uh, just mainly or just terrible. Yeah. Like, and and Sivo was robbed of a few tries well, as well. Well, yeah. What about that? <laughs> well, see, oh, I was going to touch on that. I thought there was a couple of calls. To Eels that are actually kind of dodgy. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm hoping Sivo slows down with his tries because I'd love to see AJ get back. He's, up not, there he's again. leading, I think, isn't he? Yeah, still? he is. Yeah, he, AJ's four behind. I had a bet on Picklebet. Shout out to Picklebet East Coast Hot Dog. I had a bet where it was Sivo or Saab to score combined two or more tries. And, like, Saab got injured and then Sivo had two tries taken off him. Right. And I was like, is that the toughest luck ever or what? <laughs> I was fuming. But yeah, shout out yeah, to AJ. AJ. AJ's coming for you, Sivo. How many is AJ? Like four behind. Oh, so he's cu- he mm. is coming because he started so slow. Yeah, he got a hat trick a couple of weeks ago. AJ, yeah, he's yeah. has he got two hat tricks this year? Uh, I think one. One, but he's yeah. All right, hang on, I've got to. Uh, yeah, against the Cowboys this weekend, I believe he's on Peter Hickey's side, so we might <laughs> see him slot over a few times. But every time Let's I've tipped, every time I've tipped him to score this year, he hasn't. Oh, Dom Young. Yeah, Dom Young's He's up there. He's tied with Sivo. Campbell Graham's and up there. Graham and Osako. Yeah, Osako. Oh, Khan Pereira's up there. Mulatalo, Gutho. And then John, a, Johnson's on 12 AK. Okay. Hammer. So, yeah, he's four tries Johnson. behind. Yep. It's very close, isn't it? Like, Sivo and Young are pretty... You know, they're starting to fly away, but it's very Turbo close, Turbo having it? 10 tries is impressive. Yeah. Because he, he hasn't played that many Clint games. Clint Gutherson 
That's a lot as Latrell well. with nine. Warbrick got 11. Obviously, Addo Carr's got eight, and he's like, obviously, he was out for an extended yeah. period of time. Cody Walker scored a couple. Mm. He does score a lot for a 5 eight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, shout out to AJ. Surely AJ, how many behind what do you, the top try score is he? Uh, he's four tries behind. I've, I've had the biggest mob. Like, what's his name again? See the that. top, no, 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 the top try. Oh, Ken Irvine. As in, yeah, Ken Irvine. No, he's not full tries behind. Yeah, I had the biggest mind Wait, blank. Hang man. on. Yeah, how, how far is he behind Ken Irvine is what I'm I mean. believe it to be at close to 40. Oh, 40 behind. I thought he was Okay, closer. wait, here we go. I've got it here. Ken yeah. Irvine, 212. Billy Slater, 190. Mm-hmm. Steve Menzies, 180. 180. I can't believe he's got that much. Yeah, it's crazy. Alex Johnson, 178. So he's two tries behind Steve Menzies. Oh. Which means he is 34. Four if I'm doing my maths right behind Ken Yeah, Irvine. that sounds about right. Yeah. So, yeah, not so. Wait, is it? 40 was pretty close. Yeah, 34 behind Ken Irvine. 40 was very close. There's a, so you might overtake Beaver this weekend. He could, He's yeah. very he, close to He will in a few Beaver. weeks. And then it's another 10 to He could Slater. even take over Slater this season. The end of the season, yeah. yeah. How many rounds are left? What is it, 17 this yeah, week? Yeah, he could 10 take weeks? Over, get... oh, try a game, including finals as well. Mm. I reckon he can get what he's mm. on twelve tries. I can he can get the twenty. Mm. He can more. get he can catch Slater. Mm. He needs twelve to catch Slater. Oh, he will next he year. I know that next he'll, year definitely. So, you know, two or three years he'll be the top try scorer. Mm. Do you reckon if that happens, they'll change the name of the medal, or is that just disrespectful? To I, yeah, no, they won't change it. I don't like, think. Oh, the Alex Johnson. Medal. I mean, mate, maybe like, when he retires, they well, might. But. I think. Retire when he retires, they will. Yeah. They won't do well because he's going to kill that record as well. That's that's a very good point. Though, like, it makes sense to change it. Mm. Like, it should just be named after the top all time dry score, all right? Mm. But yeah, I'd, I think they'll do it once he retires. Yeah, mm. Shout out, he's so underrated, AJ. Yeah, he he's just so knows so, how to score. Oh, good on him. I love like it. I, like, I don't know anyone that like doesn't like AJ either. Yeah, such one a, of the great TikTokers of all time as well. <laughs> such a funny guy as well. You know who else can score a try? Alex Twole. Yes. He did it. Of, he did it. He scored a try. I was so excited in this moment. I couldn't <gasps> believe it. Oh, can you believe it? No. Can you believe it? I can't. It? I honestly cannot like believe Alex it. Alex Twole scored a try. One of the moments of like, all time. Stuff One of the all time. Stuff grand final 2015. This take, has yeah, to take the That's cake. no longer the greatest moment ever. The flick pass oh, fell yeah. in the corner. That's the second greatest thing ever because Alex Twelve scoring this try. That's amazing. We've wait, been waiting years for it, haven't we? Wait, 116 games. No one games. stormed the field either. Yeah, what's going on yeah. there, Campbelltown? Shout out to anyone that was at that game. You guys suck. All talk. There was like petitions and, and stuff saying we're going to storm the field. And they, not <laughs> one person. Are you kidding me? Not one person. Not one person. Shout yeah, out to David Clemmer. They pulled his hand away to make yeah. the try happen. He knew what he imagine was doing. Imagine if he like touched it slightly. And knocked it on. Imagine oh. if it. Imagine if it got taken off him. I would have been pissed. I Which has saying, happened before. I was saying, I'm like, play. Oh no, it happened with the Frizzell one, didn't it? it there was. Was that? The that one? was earlier. Yeah, this yeah, year. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he like went over, but he was just yeah, completely held up. Out. No, it got knocked out of his hand. Oh yeah, Frizzell knocked it out. And there was <laughs> a game last year in Wollongong where he got held up over the line. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> He's been through a lot, Twally. Yeah. He's been through a lot. He was like around when World War Two was happening. <laughs> he's seen a lot of things and he's finally got his try. Yeah. Good on him. Oh, it was just so, I like it was just so good. Obviously, I think I told you this yesterday when, when we did the Origin podcast. But I was so I, on Saturday I went to Belmore to watch New South Wales Cup and like yeah, Captain Trying and saw. stuff. <laughs> and then drove home and then basically went straight to yeah, the and movies. You saw it. And so all of Saturday in terms of NRL games, I saw two minutes of NRL games. So I was listening to the radio and then from my car to the movies, I watched like two minutes of rugby league and that's when he scored his <laughs> try. I was, like I couldn't ask for a better two minutes of football to watch. Like if Did you're you in your what's that? Did you jump up? Oh, I, I got a little bit vogue. I didn't like, I went a little bit nuts. I didn't go anything crazy, yeah. but I was like, yeah, Twiley, let's go. And but yeah, if I was like on my deathbed, two minutes left to leave, show me that try on replay. Yeah. Bring you back to life, won't it? Yeah. Give you some energy. It'll bring me back to life. <laughs> Mate, you inject that stuff, you inject that try into your veins and you're immortal. Should Alex Twile be an immortal? Yeah. Like now he's got a be. try. Why not? Why not immortalize him? <laughs> Is there, I honestly, straight up, I don't have anything else to say from the Tigers Storm game. Just shout out to Alex Twile. Yeah. 
Who cares that Warbrick scored four tries? Good on did him. He, but did he end up scoring four? Yeah. I thought he, I saw he got three. He scored four tries. Yeah. Who cares though? Twilight Who cares? Ah, Warbrick's got nothing on Twilight. Yeah. Tiger, just to sum it up quickly, Tigers were awful. Storm what was played, it? Twenty eight eight. Yeah. Twenty eight six. Twenty eight six. Oh, yeah. Storm did yeah. what they needed to do. Tigers just eh, got nothing. Yeah. Do they? Just got nothing. <laughs> Especially without Brooks and Appy and Dewey, yeah. it's tough. I feel so sorry for him because they're. Pr- oh, I think they're going to get the spoon. Uh I'm starting to think it as well. And it's just, it, they don't deserve this. I'll put it after that Cowboys game. I'm like, sure, they don't get the spoon yeah. after this. And they don't deserve it. Yeah. But it's just the, these, the two injuries. It's between the Dragons and the, cow, in the Bulldogs. Dogs and, yeah. and Tigers. Yeah. I'd say it's the three. Yeah. Yeah, Cowboys yeah, are looking good Dogs will be disappointed to see get it as well. We do. I, I hope we get it. You hope. You, you all know why I hope the Bulldogs get the spoon? Oh. Because it boosts the odds for 2024 Premiers. The wooden spooners aren't going to be paying much for the 2024 premiership. You smack your house on it, you're rich. I wonder what Gus is going to think if they get the spoon. We'll talk about yeah. them soon, I guess, the dogs. Well, let's talk about them now. Oh, we're, here we're, we're there. We're let's there. talk about them. What, what would Gus think if they got the spoon? I, don't, I think he'd be very upset and disappointed. <laughs> I think he'd come out and tweet something like, oh, it's a process. Mm. As long as we're learning something. That's what he said after the game of the weekend. Oh, don't need it. Middle's, don't need to get me middle's defense was the worst I've seen all season. The middle, I I asked you this off camera yesterday. What do you think of Hayes Perham? <laughs> yeah, I said some things. I wanted to say something about him a few weeks ago, but I held off it. But I'll say it now. I think he's been one of your worst yeah. players this year. And that's what you yeah. you sort of asked me yesterday. Like, what do I think? I think he's been not one of the. He's Big been one. our worst player this season. Really, I'd go that far. Yeah, he had like a, and almost easily. He's been pretty bad and he's had some decent moments. I know early in the season he was going all right, but he had that game a few weeks ago where we sort of touched on it. I don't remember who that was, was against, against the Warriors. Sh- against the Warriors, yeah. When, yeah, that's right. And then obviously the, on the weekend was one of his worst games as well. There was literally a moment where he was, there was nobody near him, like no Sharks players near him. Just out of and the bomb's up there and he just watched it. I oh, know. He just watched oh, it. I know. It was right in front of me. I was like, bro, you're a fullback. Catch the ball. That's what you're paid to like, do. Just all these players, like the Twile effect, like all these Sharks players who hadn't scored all season. Just started scoring Hazleton. eight different try scorers. Uh, Williams scored. What at Hazleton? Oh, it's, on, it's on my vlog, but I was there with a mate and Hazleton comes onto the field off the bench. Yeah. And my mate goes, the shine, the shine of Tom Hazleton. Nobody can stop it. <laughs> and literally then he said that as they're playing the ball, he scored the next play. Yeah. It was incredible. It was just like, what are the odds of that happening? Yeah. And he was also at the 12 game. So I think oh, my mate, and my yeah. mate messaged me before the 12 game and said, I think 12 going to score. <laughs> and before the Bulldogs Sharks game, he said Nakora was going to score in his 100th. Yeah. And he scored as well. So maybe we need to get my mate on the podcast yeah. and he can give some predictions because he he tips better than me at least. <laughs> no, Sharks, I'm still not convinced they can beat a top side. Well, look. You know, they're just bullying the crap teams again. As at it home. stands, they're probably flat track bullies. They are. Like I you, noticed it last year. You as can't well. take that performance against the Bulldogs and be like, oh, they're amazing because no. we sucked so they, bad. They were terrible, the dogs. I went and, and I rewatched this. Yeah. Which jersey from the dogs is their home in a way? Why? White's home blues away. Okay, because they've been they've been wearing their like, so traditionally white one they've been wearing that away. Traditionally, it's been white home and blue blue away. And in the past few years, we've always just basically worn the white the whole season and worn blue like three or four times because mm. of the clashes. Because most clubs their away kit no sorry most clubs their home kits the lighter one yeah like dragons for example sharks yeah um no sorry I mean the other way around usually the home kits the dark one like. Sorry, yeah. dragons and sharks are the outliers. Like rabbits, theirs is the, the black. Bl- mm. Warriors is blue. Storm is like dark yeah. purple, etc. Panthers is literally black. And so the Bulldogs always end up wearing the white jersey to avoid the clash. Yeah. But then this year, they've just started wearing the blue at home. Yeah, I've been trying to work out which one to, to avoid which, the clash. Which one's the away? Yeah, it's very confusing. Because like as so in the past it was they always wore white at home. I know, yeah. And then always... usually wore white away. But this year. It's just they just wear the opposite of what the other team's wearing, mm. and it is very confusing. Yeah, and like, it confuses a lot of people. Like, is it always a game for you where you're like, "Oh, which one are they going to wear?" Yeah, today? it is. It literally is. As with South, I know which one they're going to wear. Like, if they're at home, they'll wear the black one. If they're yeah. away, and we've hardly worn the black one this year. We've worn it twice, I think. Oh, maybe three times. We didn't wear it for the Seagulls game because mm. we had the Heritage one. Yeah, we we wore it for the first Storm game. We didn't wear it for Anzac round against Panthers. 
we wore it against the Tigers. Then we wore it against the Raiders. That's it. Yeah, right. Because that home games, you just keep having to wear like Indigenous. And yeah, no, yeah, we had Indigenous at stuff. Alliance, you know, yeah. Anzac, so Ant Heritage. So we've only worn our home jersey three times this year. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, we, I th- like this weekend. I we'll like that they're wearing them both, though, because usually they wear the away one like three times and it's like, I want to see more. Oh, the white one. The Bulldog. Oh, no, yeah, the, the Bulldog, like the yeah. blue one. So I don't mind it. Like, it is dumb that we're wearing like a blue jersey at a home game, but I don't mind it because it's like, and it's probably also like a marketing thing where yeah. they want to sell more jerseys. So they try and wear them both equally. But yeah, I don't mind it, but it is very weird. Mm. Um, like I was trying to work it all year. I'm like, wait, which one yeah. is And the a home? lot of people get confused. I remember when they actually dropped the jerseys, I thought that the blue one was going to be the home one to start with, which I, I've always, I wouldn't say I've always said it because white is like, has been our home jersey since like the 60s. But it just makes more sense for blue to be home because every team or nearly every team has the dark. Yeah, jersey is home except like basically us and dragons who have had the same jersey for 50 60 <laughs> years right so yeah it's it is weird um back to the game i went and re-watched this game zane uh, the next day or yeah. that night i don't remember very tough one to sit through twice and you mentioned the middle of defense i literally like broke down every single try like Watched each trailer over yeah. and over, trying to look out what went wrong. It was just like lazy markers leaving Marnie or uh, Oluwapu exposed one on one with front rowers, or it was just just poor defense. Yeah. I think there was only one. There was two tries that weren't through the middle. There was the intercept try, and there was just one where they just like hands stood out the back and just had some good shape. But most of the tries weren't from like an incredible sharks attack. It oh, was yeah, just no. our defense was that bad. This game also does contain my player at the round. Yeah. Nico Hines. Nico Hines. There yeah. you go. The origin redemption. And it also can pa- birthday conta- boy. It also contains my most disappointing player of the round. Sh- Hayes Perham. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure, I was about to I say. You're surprised by that one. You know who actually disappointed me in this one? Reed Marnie. Mm, yeah. He had an off game as well. He had some bad He's moments. He's had a few off games he had a, over the last few A few, few weeks. errors, a few missed tackles. And to his credit, the missed tackles no, are that when he tries to pick up the ball with one yeah, hand. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, Little things like that. Yeah. And the missed tackles, like he missed the tackle at the end of that, it's his fault. But when you're being left one on one with a Ford because of lazy markers, that's tough. Yeah. So I do feel bad for him there. On the other side of it, Preston Mania, Jacob Preston. Gone. Once again, just one of our best players. Yeah. Every one single of your best this year. Easily. I'd almost go as far as to say that so far this year, he has been our best. You reckon the best? Mm, I think so. Who, about, who else would you have there? Kick out. Does he play for us? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, does he? Yeah. Do we sign him? I'd say Karaz would be up there. I said Burden would be yeah. up there. Burden's Burden. been like, yeah, he's been all right. Karaz had an injury, so it's he missed the a Oc? few weeks. How can you not say Yeah, him? that's true. The Oc has been pretty good. <laughs> he, he, he didn't have the best game on the weekend again. You know who has been really good? Jake Avrilo. Yeah. <laughs> and he's off. He's off to become a thin. I hate the Dolphins now. Nah, I, I don't hold this against Jake Everill or the Dolphins. I hold it against the Bulldogs. It's going to be strange seeing him in red. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it's going to be so... Like, he, he's a local junior. Like, he's played with us his entire career, like since he was five years old. And then apparently he signed... What it, it Have you read four it? Years, maybe. I read it was three. Uh, option. 400K. Okay. It might have been a four-year option. Yeah, maybe. That's Yeah, I think it was. Three years and then 1.2 mil, so 400k a year. Yeah, so they got Farmworth and Avarillo going there next year. And that's it's going to fill bro. their centre spots. And then they've still got Valence in, uh, And they got Branko now. Lee there and as Branko well. And Branko Lee. Yeah. And then they got Asako will be one wing and then New, I guess, the yeah, other one? Yeah, it'll be New probably on the other one. Yeah. The good thing about Avarillo is he can play anywhere. He can literally play anywhere. He can. Gonna so, miss him so much. So I good. just don't understand why the Bulldogs can't match that offer or even <laughs> offer him more. Like four hundred k, that's not that much for he, like he's such a good player. Yeah, he's worth more than that. He is, and like he's so versatile. He's been one of our best players this year. He's super quick. He's super agile. He's just such a good natural football player. And I've known it since he debuted. He's been one of my favorite players since he debuted because he's just got so I much that game raw where he talent. Scored that really good try against the Parramatta. The intercept one? Oh, the one where Burden kicked at the end? No, it's 2020. Oh, in the corner? Yeah. This is how many, this is how bloody good he is, and he scored that many different good tries. Yeah, yeah the one the in the one corner. The one the Bulldogs had those um, questionable. <laughs> yeah, the questionable jersey. indigenous jersey. 
<laughs> you know which one we're talking about, you know. If you saw a picture of it, you'd know. Go mm. search up Jake Avrilo Parramatta try 2020 yeah. and you'll see the jerseys. But yeah, he's just like, he's just such good raw talent. And the thing that's scary is that you look at how much he's been bounced around at the Bulldogs. He's played halfback, he's played fullback, he's played center under like three or four different coaches. And you're seeing how good he is, right? Imagine him being told by Wayne Bennett, the best coach ever, literally ever, this is your position. Mm. And then being coached by Wayne Bennett. Imagine how good he's, he's going to be. He's going to thrive up there. You want a hot take? You want a hot take? Over the next three years, Jake Avril is going to debut an origin. I can see it happening. That is a hot who, take for him. Over, though. That, that, that problem will sort itself out. Like Maybe there's an injury or something. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying he gets a, a first preference again, spot. It's Katani Staggs, it's Campbell Graham. <laughs> yeah. I've, gonna be I've seen enough of well. Jake Avrilo to know that he's capable of playing Origin. Yeah. If he was in a good system, if he was at Panthers, he would have played Origin. Oh, yeah, if it was at Panthers, he would have all he, Roosters. Yeah. Because like, you look at like Crichton, for example. If he, was at, if he was at Panthers instead of Crichton, he'd be playing Origin this yeah. year. Yeah. Like, like, he would Crichton's going to get picked next year because he's at Dogs. No, no, maybe. Like I feel they like, do, like they did with Addo Carr, but then they see, had that's to bring like, him back. That was sort of a thing that uh, Paul Crowley was saying, but I think it's a bit of a myth now. Like, you can come to the Bulldogs and keep your rep career. Mm. But uh, at the same time, though, he's moving to fullback. He's obviously not the first choice centre yeah, for New South Wales. So, in the Paul Crowley. Paul, Paul Crowley. Paul yeah, Wood. obviously. Yeah. But yeah, I like he maybe he won't play Origin, is my point. But yeah, that's. If I go any deeper into Jake Avril, I will literally cry. So shall we move on? We shall. <laughs> um, my player of the week, Zane. You gave yours. Yeah. My player of the week, Alex Twile. Oh, yeah. I can't believe how you didn't. How could I not? Yeah, I don't know how you went Nico yeah. Hines over Alex Twile. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's got to be. Tw- Alex Twile player I'll of the week. I'll change mine, actually. Alex Twile. There you go. And most disappointing, apparently we're doing that now. Oh, apparently. I'm yeah. also going to go Hayes <laughs> Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, Hayes, but it wasn't a good game, was it? Yeah, all right. Before we go into our previews, and we're gonna we're gonna skip three questions today. Obviously, I'm too depressed to talk about anything rugby league too much. But there's something we got to talk about, and it makes me a little bit less depressed about Jake Avril if it if it happens or if things go my way. Yeah, Ben Hunt. Yeah, where does he go? Where does he go? Does he leave it all? Uh, does he go to the Raiders because they need a half? Does he go to the Dogs because they need a halfback yeah. badly? Does he go to the Roosters because they somehow have the money for these players? Cowboys and, they need a and Titans are rumoured. Cowboys and Titans are the favourites apparently. Yeah. Tigers, as well. Tigers. So much options. Let's let's uh, strip it right back to the start. Hopefully South maybe. But, Obviously, yeah. so the way it's all happened, the factual information is that Ben Hunt has requested an immediate release through his manager. So it, it started he's willing with... willing to pay his way out of the club. Yeah, so it's, wants to go that it bad. started with people close to Ben Hunt, like went to the media and were like, he wants to leave. And then his manager came out and was like, yeah, he's requested to leave. And then the Dragons sort of came out and they were like, we're not going to accept it. And then the manager was like, he's asked for an immediate release. And then the and then I think Flano came out and was like, nah, he's not leaving. And then Ben Hunt was like, I want to pay money to leave. Well, he was like, I, I want to pay 150000 yeah, out of my much. own pocket to leave mm. like he must want to leave yeah <laughs> that is insane very quickly as well that he's ready to go yeah and this that all happened like a 48 hour period yeah it's like, almost like he's spoken to someone up in origin camp and he's like yeah you yeah know right and yeah and keep in mind this is all happening while he's in origin camp as well like which is when this stuff never happens usually it always if, if it's happening it usually pauses during origin camp like and buzz rothfield was like texting him Hmm. Getting like him to comment, Ben Hunt yes, was Buzz, like, "I have requested a release." Yeah. <laughs> so that is something Buzz was actually correct about for once. Yeah, so congratulations, Buzz. Well done, Buzz. <laughs> Shout out to you, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think? Give me your take on. Do you think he'll stay? Do you think he'll leave? I Where think does he's he end going. up? I think, so you think he'll leave? I think Gold Coast. But do, sorry, do you think he'll leave? Like right now, at the end of the season, at the end of his contract. Weeks. So you think he'll leave this season? Yeah. <sighs> I reckon he's going to Gold Into Coast. Into the Titans. Yeah. The thing with the Titans that doesn't make sense to me is that, firstly, they have a lot of halves. And do they have the cap for Ben Hart? I think they do. I, I just saying, I don't understand I how they can. They do. Because there's, yeah, like obviously they're saying they do. They're going to have to release someone because you can't have 1.2 mil sitting there. Hmm. Because of just because of the way the rules are, you have to use a, like a certain percentage of your salary cap. And so it's impossible to have, you might have a couple of 100,000 free, but you don't have like one. What like would you say he's worth? One? Oh, I don't think one mil. 
I think 900. I think he's on 900, right? No, I think they're going to give him something like that, Gold Coast. Clubs are... There's clubs that are pay like up to 1.2. For Hunt, mm. yeah. Or I think this is similar to like Cooper Cronk when he went on the market. Like yeah. it doesn't matter if you have an established like halves combo. If Hunt is on the market, you, you're going for him. You, and that's what the Roosters And you think that's what Pierce the Titans would be as well. Like yeah. they'll just... And obviously four, Foran would be... Surely he retires this season. No, or I think next. he's got another year. Oh, yeah. he'll I retire think at the end of next Hunt, year. Like a two year deal as well. So then it'll, it'll be Hunt and four, and I guess, and just you, Tanner Which Boyd just gets combo. dropped. Good. Yeah, but I think they'll keep Tanner Boyd in the club, <clears throat> ready for when four and goes. I guess you can move into hooker, but then you yeah. like you have Boyd, you have Sexton. Yeah, there's someone else, and there's someone else. There's somebody else outside the Sexton and the Boyd, and then the there's this young schoolboy. Sexton Boyd. Mm. So you never know, Forum might go next year. They can sign Hunt for two years, and the yeah. year after Hunt will go, then they can start Boyd. So you Sexton. think it'll be the rest of this season? Because you're saying like you think it'll happen at, like a meet in a cut, like not right now, but in a few weeks. Mm. So you think it'll be four or and a could Hunt? sign on for the Titans next season? Uh, even, say, let's just say it is next season. Let's let's just for the sake of the conversation. So you think it'll be four and Hunt in twenty four, and then four and retires, and then Hunt Boyd. Yeah. And then Hunt retires, you reckon? Then Hunt, then Boyd Sexton. How old's Ben Hunt? He's 33. So he, he's so he probably only has two or three yeah. years in him. But yeah, just okay. think of that spine, though. Brimson, Foran, Hunt, Verrills. Yeah. That's a good spine. Or or like, Boyd. And Boyd, yeah. Or, like, or Boyd or Hooker. Or even as a 14. Oh, they, won't, just, they won't replace reckon? Verrills, no. Verrills is good. Yeah. yeah. Like it's a good that, spine, they That got. is interesting, though, because if you go Foran, Hunt... I think somebody, one of Sexton or Boyd leaves. Yeah, you're right. I think that's inevitable. Like somebody will get forced out. Oh, I think. Right. Yeah, I think Sexton will even go just salary Boyd cap does. wise, and just because like they like they're not going to want to be stuck there. Mm. Obviously, think, one of them can't be part of the future plans. But the benefit is whoever doesn't leave, they're learning off Ben Hunt yeah, and exactly. Kieran and I Foran. Think, I think that's what they want to do with Tanner Boyd. Yeah, and so he'll be he'll be behind Foran. I feel like Sexton is the type that would go there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Cowboys, I reckon. I, th- I can see Sexton leaving, but it, Boyd will be stuck behind Hunt and Foran for a season, learning off both of them. For after learning off Foran this season, playing with Foran this season, then Foran retires and he pl- and then Boyd plays with Hunt for a It'd season for and then takes the reins. That's like money can't buy experience. And we talk really about for Queensland's future halves, who that they have at halfback for the future. I think Boyd will be there eventually. If Boyd gets that treatment, yeah. he can definitely be there. Obviously, everyone's saying it would be Sam Walker. Everyone says Walker and Dearden, Dearden. which I th- obviously Dearden's a good option. He played game three last year and mm. was good. I think Mam will be yeah. in that conversation as well. Yeah, true. How old is Ezra Mam? He'd be eight, 20 so, or so. I think early 20s. Because, yeah, at the moment, a lot of people think Sam Walker. I don't think Sam Walker. Yeah, he's 20. Ezra Mem's 20. I don't think Sam Walker's the future Queensland halfback. So, so you think um, Tanner Boyd? I, I don't know if I'd say that yet, but I, if Tanner Boyd can have what we just went through, like learning off Hunt, learning yeah, off Foreign. I think it would be great for him. He's 22 at the moment, so he'd be 24, 25 by the time... He takes over. He's very young. Like and I feel like he's been around for years, Tanner Boyd. Yeah, though. he's very young. Yeah. He must have debuted young. Yeah. But, yeah, I think that would be super beneficial for Tanner Boyd and, and it would just be a matter of can Titans fit that in their cap? Yeah. Because they do have Fafita there at the moment. They've got Tino. I think they got foreign quite... Uh, no, they paid... They didn't get foreign cheap. No, they got him They got him like price. 900, I think. Yeah. But obviously, like, that ends next year. But, like, at the moment, I feel like the cap isn't that loose. I thought that, as like obviously, I don't know I think the numbers. The Titans have a pretty good cap. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think it's pretty good. But like, oh, they just they'll have to lose someone. Yeah, I think it could be Sexton. Someone. Yeah, yeah. I, get, I wonder how much Sexton's on. Yeah, I don't think it'd be too like. Much, I wonder if I like losing no Sexton, hundred, he'd be on. Like almost gives them enough to get Hunt. It'd be interesting. I wonder, like mm. Hunt, is he in a situation like obviously he's offering to pay a hundred and fifty thousand dollars to leave. Is he in a situation where he doesn't care how much money he gets given? Yeah, maybe. Does he take massive unders to go to Again, the Titans? Like, they said on 360 the other night, if he wants to win a comp, is Gold Coast the right club for him? What do you think? Uh, do I don't, you, I don't do know. You think, do you see Gold Coast winning a comp? No, I don't. But but then if Hunt's there, like I think maybe I do. potential to do really well. But if Hunt's there, I think they maybe they do. It depends on who yeah. leaves. They're just a they side where I'm like, I can't imagine them winning a yeah. premiership. Like, it'd just be strange. Well, I think if he wants to win a premiership, he's got to go to Roosters. 
Oh, oof. do you see them winning one though anytime soon? If he's halfback, yeah. You reckon? Yeah. Because I feel like if he wants to win a comp, I reckon Dogs would be the best choice. That's I because I feel like they're the best up and coming team. I feel like we're at a. It, I agree. I think there's a world where we are the be, one of the better options in terms of wanting to win a premiership because he could be the final piece. Mm. Like you look at, we got Crichton, Marnie, Burden in the spine. That is an insane spine if you throw Hunt in there. But at the same time, if he if it doesn't work, he's wasted his career. Exactly. It's, like it is a bit of a gamble. But I like I have said so many times that if we sign Hunt, we're a premiership. Yeah, threat. I agree. And so I agree. All you need is a full mm, halfback. Sorry. Yeah. No, like sorry. A, or if we get a really high quality halfback, we're a premiership threat. Absolutely. I'm not, I'm not saying we're going to win the comp. Obviously, obviously, 2024 we're going to win the comp. That's inevitable. And so, realistically, Ben Hunt's best option is the Bulldogs short term because it's a guaranteed comp next year. Like if he goes to Roosters next year, he can't win the comp or Titans or anywhere. If he wants to win the 2024 Premiership, it has to be at the Bulldogs. But mm-hmm. 2025, I think Roosters is a good option. I Like in terms of winning a Premiership, Bulldogs, I guess. Like it's a gamble, but they're, obviously it can happen. Cowboys maybe? Possibly. If they move on Chad? Why do you, but I yeah, think that's 360, the three I think options. Brent Reid was saying out of the options, Gold Coast would be the best choice. Yeah, if right. you want to win a comp, they're the closest yeah, one to see, do I it. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't see them winning a comp either. I think obviously like Raiders who have been in the mix... You just saw Jack White and leave because he wants to win a comp. Yeah. So that you're not going there to win a comp. Imagine if he does and they do. I know the Broncos Jack. fans are trying to say that he's going to go there and play hooker. Yeah, which he doesn't want to do that. I think if he goes to Broncos, they win a comp. But he doesn't yeah. want to play hooker. Because I think Broncos need a hooker. And that's yeah, all they, they need. If, can you imagine them having Ben Hunt and hooker? Like they would literally win the comp. Mm. But I, he doesn't want to play hooker. So mm. so I think, what is it? Titans, Cowboys. Yeah, I think Titans Bulldogs, is the one where he'll Or go. Roosters, I guess. And then it just comes down to salary cap. Like, Bruce's, Surely I think they not. might be able to fit him in because they're yeah. losing Sawley. I don't know. But no, Sawley so, so still got a year. He's still got next year. Yeah, but I'm saying may, maybe he leaves early now to Union. Mm. Yeah, I think for them I'm to just, get Ben Hunt, Sawley would have to leave. I say, come on. Surely not. And then I guess Titans. I, I think at the bottom line is. Saying the bottom line is wherever he goes, like any club that wants well. him, they have to move on players. Yeah, they have to lose players. And that's to, exactly to what the Roosters did with Cooper Cronk. Yeah, they moved on Guerra, they moved on Pierce, they moved on Kenny Dare. Is there any clubs at the moment that are moving on players? I think the Roosters are one. I've said they. I going. feel like there might be a club that's moving on players. Zane, Jake Avrillo left the Bulldogs today. True. True. Corey Allen, Aaron Shop. You know we got a couple of off-contract players. Yeah, you Luke got Thompson. Sherry and. Kyle Flanagan, Sherry'd be on, on like he he would have been minimum, but Crichton obviously he's on like eight hundred. But we're losing Flanagan and Thompson, who hold one point two million dollars at the cap at the moment, and you'd assume they get moved on. Hmm. So maybe Ben Hunt does come home to the Bulldogs, and Jeez. maybe he fulfills the twenty twenty four prophecy and wins a premiership Jeez. for the Bulldogs. Jeez Louise, Jeez Louise. So your your tips, Titans? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Titans. Yeah. I think the Bulldogs aren't smart enough to sign him. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to go Roosters. Right. I think he lands at the Roosters. I said the same thing about Jack White. I was completely wrong. But, yeah, I've, I feel like so Roosters. So might end up at South, you reckon? Yeah, maybe. You know what? Maybe. Either way, there's Sombrero's going. <laughs> if he goes to South, they win the comp. Oh, Easily. Yeah, absolutely. Easily. <laughs> Can you imagine Latrell Walker, Ben Hunt, Damien Cook, Cameron Murray, oh. Campbell Graham, one centre, like Jack White in the other centre, like. AJ. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a rep side. Like it is. <laughs> you could just roll them straight into the Australian yeah. squad and nobody would blink. Like, literally, though, like they're yeah. all Australian. Have they all played for Australia? Yeah. They have. Yeah. Literally, every single yeah. one of them has played for Australia. Of the names you've tossed up there. Yeah. That's messed up. <laughs> oh, I don't think Walker has, actually, but. Oh, sorry. You know, yeah, you no, know Walker I mean, hasn't. Yeah. But he's, he'd be capable, yeah. to be honest. Let's go to our predictions. Obviously, shout out to Picklebet. If you're going to have a bet. Use Picklebet. Use Picklebet. When you're signing up to Picklebet, use code HOTDOG. You can get on our multis. You can make your own multis with the same game multi feature. Obviously, we toss up multis every week and usually they lose. So maybe, you know, make your own multi. It's probably the better option. If you're having trouble gambling, call 1-800-858-858 and always gamble responsibly. Chances are you're about to lose. 
You lose more than you win. You you lose more than you win. Yeah, I can trust vouch me. I can tell you that. <laughs> All right. Um, Dragons and Warriors is the first game Hunt this week. Is name the play? Are you going to this game? No, I'm it's not. in Wollongong. Oh, no, I'm not getting there. Neither I'd love I. to go there and give a big cheer who when the Warriors. I run trademark out of messaged me today and was like, "Are we going?" And I was like, "I've worked," but I was like, "Maybe Zane will." Yeah. So sorry, sorry, trademark. Yeah. We're not going. I really wanted to get it. Julian's got his soccer game on, so he can't make oh, it. Oh, Julian's not going either. Yeah, no. Far out. So yeah, I'd love to go there and give a big cheer who yeah. to the Warriors <laughs> when they come out. But Hunt's named. After the week Hunt he's had, you know, he could be hung over after Origin, so he might pull out late. That's the funny. Rumors thing. are he's going to get booed. Yeah, he comes I out. saw that. that I'd, that'd be funny. But I love the Warriors at the moment, and I think they win this game. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say one to twelve because at Wollongong Dragons don't Dragons often, when they lose good. they don't get flogged there. Yeah, that's the thing. And Troscora. Let's go. I'm going to Dallin with tennis. The Les Dallin, yeah, Bulldogs legend in that corner of the hill. I reckon. Yeah, down in that corner there would be cool to um, see him score. There was something you just said about Ben that made me. Oh, I. Because obviously all the drama was going on, and a lot for some reason the media was pretending he wasn't going to be named because obviously he wants yeah, to of leave. Of course, he's going to be named. I don't think he's going to play. Yeah, neither but do I. But not because of the drama. I because it's two yeah, days exactly. after. Exactly. If they win as well, I reckon oh, he's going to yeah. party. And you know, if Queensland win, he's not yeah. playing. Yeah, he's not playing. If they lose, I think he's still outside. I was like, because he's up in Queensland, mm. he has to fly back here. Is he Thursday really that committed to the club where he wants to play and do captain's run and then play? Mm. I he... just and yeah, I just don't think. I don't think he plays, not because of the drama, but because of origin. Yeah. And I'm also on Warriors 1 to 12 for the They're same capable reasons. of winning by more, I think. Yeah. I, th- I went 1 to 12 and not 13 plus because it's in Wollongong. Yeah. And Dragons love Wollongong. And for my try score, I've gone SJ, Sean Johnson. Yeah. Good He's choice. He's killing it at the moment. Shout and, out you know, to Warriors Shawnee. are starting to look really good. Is this the time of the year he gets injured? Oh, don't and don't say that, Zane. Don't, and like it stop always, saying those things. Like it always does happen. So. Stop saying those <laughs> things. You're a mean person. <laughs> um, dolphins and eels. Mm. This one's an interesting That's one. That's Sunshine Coast, isn't it? Yeah. I find this one interesting because I don't know if Moses will play. Yeah. But at the same time, Wayne Bennett's Dolphins, they've come off a bye after being pumped. Mm. This is the type of game where I see Dolphins bouncing mm. back in a big way. Yeah. But I'm not obviously not going to tip him. Oh. <laughs> I'm obviously not. I'm tipping Parramatta. Yeah. I'm tipping Sevo to keep scoring. What margin are you going to go? One to 12. I say one to 12. Like, I feel like Dolphins going to be really up for it. Yeah. Sevo's a good pick, obviously. Top try scorer. Didn't score last week, so he's due, I guess. Mm. I'm going Dolphins. You are. As I said, I don't think Moses will play in this game. I th- I, they were really good without Saturday. him last week, though. That is a, that's a fair point, but... I just feel like Dolphins get up for this one. And I just, yeah, I like what the Dolphins are about this year. And I You're feel like they might catch Manly up. Manly pumped the Dolphins by 58, then Para pumped Manly the week after by 30. So doesn't, doesn't bother me. That's or, an origin affected Manly. And Manly with Turbo playing at full strength yeah. is like so scary. I also, I'm excited for this one because Valence Tevale is playing. He's, He's starting at centre. And so I want him any time try scorer. Okay. I, like, I like that boy. There's also somebody else I think that's making their debut apparently is one to watch, but I forget who it is. Hang on. Give me a sec. I read the name this morning on like Twitter. Everyone was like talking about bringing him into Supercoach and stuff. And apparently he's like a boom rookie. Where is he? Braden McGrady. Right. Apparently he's one to watch. Sorry, I keep so saying all this news, Popper. Please stop. <laughs> please stop. Look, this is, if you can see it, it's the news about Avarilla. Have you, did you see my story? You kind of like... Crap, I posted my story about Yeah, I, I, I am right now. Like all the memes yeah. and that, yeah. It's a tough time. You see, you should see my Twitter <laughs> blowing up. Every time I see like a tweet about it, I'm didn't like retweet the meme. Yeah, I'm, I'm blocked by Gus. <laughs> I can't believe yeah. that. He didn't like me trash talking Hayes Barham. <laughs> Hope you're watching the podcast, Phil, because <laughs> we trash talk Hayes Barham here as well. you got to block Zane as well. <laughs> Do you have Twitter? No. Yeah, well, I'll let, I'll let you know that as soon as you get Twitter... Gus will block you because he watches the podcast and he knows that you're trash talking Param as well. Most disappointing player. How dare you say that <laughs> about the great A's Param? Um, Panthers and Knights, the rematch. It's at Penrith. It's at Blue Bet. Do any Panthers players back up? Ugh. Obviously, like there's five. I think even out. if they don't, I still think Penrith get the job done. Yeah. I, at Penrith. Yeah. You know, at, if it was at Newcastle, I'd be tempted to say Knights. And, you know, mm. They nearly got over them last time, but I think Penrith win 13 plus. So a big one as well. Mm. Who do you think? This is where it gets tricky. You got to pick a try scorer, but you sort of have to like gamble with Let's the go origin. With someone players. safe. Let's go like Taruva. Yeah, right. 
I'm also on Taruva to score because I'm like, I don't want to get on like Critter yeah, or Tolo because play. if they don't play. That's the same with but me. But I'm on, I'm on Panthers as well, but 1 to 12. Yeah. Because the way the Knights they have been hang playing, in games. they just hang in games. That's all they do. Every single week, they just hang in games. So I'm going Panthers 1 to 12. Now, when I was doing up my little, I guess, podcast notes, and I saw this game, I was like, oh, you beauty. Storm Manly this weekend. Yeah, good. I always love Storm Manly. Bit of a rivalry. That's an origin depleted match potentially if they rest players that is a fair point but but what, what i think because manly this won last time Melbourne. i think storm win 13 plus this time Whew. i think nick amini scores Bulldog, ex bulldogs legend nick amini <laughs> <laughs> saying just likes picking ex bulldog <laughs> legend. it seems like everyone's played for him <laughs> yeah it does. all the good players yeah. if you've got a player at your club that's good probably an ex bulldogs player because <laughs> we don't have the good players at our club we just let them leave exactly yeah <laughs> Oh, dear. I'm also going Storm. I'm going 1-12, to 12 though. I, I feel like unless, like, Turbo and that get injured, I feel like they'll probably back up. Like, yeah, no, I feel like they will. Because it's such an important game. I think unless he – like, obviously, unless he gets hurt, it's not, which it will be funny as if, like – it won't be funny if he gets hurt. Like, obviously, that's not funny, but the irony that yeah. we're talking about, will they get hurt, and then the people watching know if they've yeah. got hurt or not. Um, but I'm going, speaking of that, I'm going Munster anytime try scorer who might not even back up, who might get hurt tonight. So you don't know. But yeah, I'm there going Storm Munster. I keep yawning Munster. today, don't I? Bit tired, mate. I keep mate. yawning, yeah. I'm like, Had a big it's night. not because I, I find you boring. <laughs> Definitely not the reason. Sure. I don't, I don't know why I keep yawning. I'm just like, <laughs> People watching this podcast probably yawn a lot. Hey? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I should be yawning more than I am. I was up till 4.30 last night watching The Ashes. Jesus. Do you, do you follow cricket? No. Nah. I, I fell asleep at the- 10 to, 10 to 11. There you go. So yeah, no, like, I went to bed at 4.30. I was up all night watching the Ashes. Shout out to Australia. They won and made it worth it. Hmm. But I got three hours sleep. Um, Broncos, Titans. Who do you think wins? Obviously, it's a, like the Queensland. What do they call it? The four, is it still the Forex Shield? No, it might be. I think, it's, I think they changed it to like Maccas. <laughs> I feel like I read during the week. But yeah, it's Broncos, Titans. What do you reckon happens in this one? I think Titans score first and Broncos win 13 plus. Do you reckon Titans lead at half time? Probably. Is there probably surely, there'd be a mark there is. There's a market on pickle bet where you can like pick the Yeah, I know. The like half time winner. That's what I did winner. with the Sharks game the other day. You went Sharks Sharks half time. Yeah, football. but I reckon every time the Titans play each week, you go Titans half time and then like, the I reckon they'll score first. Time. Like you I said reckon, thirteen plus Broncos, I reckon Brimson you know? Brimson will score first. You on Brimo any time yeah. then? I reckon, and first try scorer as well. You're going to make that your multi of the week? Yeah. Broncos 13 plus and Brimo first try scorer? Yeah. Sweet. That's that's just nice and easy for me. Nice. What day is that game? It's that's Sunday, Saturday. 2 o'clock, yeah. Sunday. Wait, is there three it's, games on Sunday? Yeah. Is there? Yeah, Sunday, 2 o'clock. Oh, that, that's good stuff. Broncos having a day game? When and the this Bulldogs ever? have the bye, which means I can just sit down. When does this ever watch? happen? Broncos having a yeah, day game. Yeah, that is weird. 2 o'clock. Broncos having a Sunday game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, true it is. That's so good because I don't work Sunday, so I can just sit down on Sunday because the Bulldogs aren't It's high scoring just as well. consume rugby league. Um, yeah, I think so. I think it'll be high scoring. It depends, and it'll also be potentially... I guess it's Sunday, so maybe not, but the origin affected. Yeah. It's always so hard to pick like who's going to rest. Like, I reckon it's going to be like 32-24 to 24 sort of scoreline. Like really yeah. high scoring. Do you reckon... Yeah, oh, no, yeah more probably. like 36-20, like something like that. Yeah. Again, like both teams are just attacking mm. teams, right? Um, I'm also on Broncos 13 plus actually, and I'm on Corey Oates to score any time. Shout out to Corey Oates. Could have got into the Queensland squad Could've. nearly. Got Could've unlucky been in the, in the end though. And then your South Sydney Rabbitohs are playing rugby league again against the Cowboys in Sydney, yeah. as we sort of mentioned Because before. this game's in Sydney, I'm going to South 13 plus. And AJ, yeah. any time try score. There you go. I'm literally doing the exact same thing for the exact same reason because it's in Sydney. South and South need plus. to start winning again. And I'm going Gramble to score. Gramble. I nearly went AJ and I wanted something a bit more yeah, exciting. So a good Gramble. choice. And then the final game of the round, This year, I actually get up for the Roosters Raiders games because do you remember like 2019 and 2020, or obviously after the grand final, these were always cracker games. Yeah. And obviously like it's Ricky Stewart's old club. So I just the players always seem to get, especially the Raiders, mm. Ricky Stewart always gets his players up for this one. I reckon Raiders win Yeah, as well. I just don't. <laughs> It's nothing against the Roosters, but they're just not good at the moment. Nothing against the Roosters it's coming from I'm, the South fans. I know it's at Allianz, <laughs> but I f- generally think Raiders win. 1-12, though. Where's that? Allianz. Allianz. 
Allianz. Yeah. Never heard you say oh, that word before. Trollianz, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. He's I coming. He's Raiders win. Try scorer. Let's go. Rapana. Rapana. Rapana, yeah. Rapana. I don't, I, yeah. Is it? Yeah. What? I don't know what it I, is. I hate sitting here and like having this conversation because I feel rude. But I think it's ra, Ra Rapana. I think traditionally everyone called him Rapana, and then it, he was like, "No, it's Rapana." But yeah. <laughs> shout out to if you're watching, just DM us a voice memo, <laughs> as in not. I mean, anyone can do this if you want. I don't care. But Jordan, if you're watching, DM us a pronunciation yeah, of your name. Yeah, what it is. And then surely everyone just DM us like pronunciations of how you think it is. Um, I'm also on Raiders 1 to 12. As I was saying, like, they're always mad, right? It, or at least it used to be, like, always really good games. Mm. And I remember watching some of those games. And pa- Papali used to, or Papali'i, sorry. Um, Papali'i used to always score on him. So I'm going Papali'i. <laughs> yeah, anytime. you're right. I remember that he, fight yeah. where he got up and head by the Kiri. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. He just used to always get be fired up for these ones. Yeah, I'm on Papali'i. And my multi of the week is the Dolphins game. I'm going the, my Dolphins 1-12 to 12 against Para and Balance I as like my it. multi of the week. I like it. And then we need to put together a quick try score or multi before we wrap what up. What should we do? I have no idea. Hope that helps. What do you reckon Origin back is again? We've done that before. Yeah. But I reckon players who are top high in the try score and tally this yeah, year. Right. So let's go. So Sevo. C- Sevo, Johnston. AJ. Yeah. Sevo. And then it's Sevo. Fr- we'll go one from each day as well. Because then you can yeah, write Sevo. it. So Sevo's Saturday. So we need Friday night Dragons Warriors. Let's go. Brava? He was sort Actually, of high. Dallin. I like Dallin. Dallin? Dallin. Yeah, all right. He was high as well. Yeah. Like, obviously, we just read the list. So I like Dallin. They, they were definitely like there we go. top 10. Sweet. So Should be an easy one for picking players who score tries. Sevo, AJ, and Dallin. Yeah. Get on that because for once... It should be like, as you just said, that should like actually get up. Yeah. Instead of like picking <laughs> the worst multis ever. Yeah. There was one on the weekend we had like some, I don't remember what it was. Maybe not on the weekend, but like not that long ago. We yeah. had like a try score that which is never going to score a try. Yeah. We, I'll tell you what we missed last week. Alex Twile. Oh. How did we miss that? Oh, we just never thought of it. <laughs> I actually, I literally had a look because as I, I, was, I was saying, um, my mate like messaged me saying he thinks he's going to score. And so I went on Picklebet, shout out to Picklebet, use code hot dog. And looked at the odds because I was gonna do I was gonna do a post because I did one the other week like saying like this like do this bet obviously yeah and I was gonna do it again but I couldn't find I was just gonna reuse it but couldn't find it so I didn't but I looked at the odds he was paying ten dollars to score just at any stage on pickle bet so that that's what you're missing if you're not on pickle bet sign up but that'll do us this week good luck to you bunny Zane Bulldogs guaranteed two points it is let's talk baby.